I want to say something uh, about meditation in a young age. Uh, when to start meditation and uh, how is it going with meditation when you are young? In my case, I started uh, seriously um, thinking about life and death uh, when I was 14 uh, years old, uh, going to the primary school in the seventh grade. Uh, like that, I remember I lost uh, completely uh, contact with uh, the outer world and uh, I was deep inside, uh, only thinking and uh, ruminating about uh, life and death. What is life, what is death, why we are born, uh, why we will die when my parents will die someday and uh, I will stay alone, uh, why uh, people are killed uh, in accidents and uh, in murders, uh, in killings, stabbings, uh, why uh, there are people uh, dying of uh, terminal illnesses uh, like uh, cancer or just uh, dying during operation. Mm, why children are dying young uh, like uh, babies uh, when they are killed uh, in the womb of the mothers uh, like abortion or uh, what is the reason of being born crippled or deformed, being handicapped like that? These questions were preoccupying me since childhood. Fear of death, fear of dying. And uh, I didn't know what uh, awaits me behind the closed door, behind the closed door of life. That was uh, my uh, quest uh, in life. I never thought about uh, being professional, uh, the firefighter or policeman or teacher or some electrician or plumber or some taxi driver or some professional uh, professor of uh, uh, some school or teacher uh, or university teacher or scientist. Those things didn't uh, occupy my mind uh, at all. And when I was 14, I started to uh, think uh, more deeply about uh, life and death. I was uh, ruminating, uh, going uh, out of uh, my house and uh, using uh, transit, uh, uh, local transit, uh, like buses or trams, uh, to sit in the back uh, seat and uh, only thinking, thinking, thinking about these things, uh, considering, uh, contemplating uh, various uh, situations. Uh, I had no answers. I had questions, but had no answers. Uh, sometimes uh, the Kanarek uh, uh, catch me uh, in the bus uh, because I didn't uh, uh, buy uh, tickets uh, to, for trams and buses. I was uh, uh, going uh, without tickets uh, uh, at that uh, time in my town, in my city. Uh, so um, when uh, I finished uh, primary school, I went to secondary school, the, um, some kind of the college uh, in uh, Canada. We call it college in Poland, we call it liceum. 
and uh, at that time I met uh, some friend of, of mine and uh, he introduced me into art uh, and uh, I also uh, connected to um, philosophy but uh, philosophy doesn't work for me. Uh, I never was uh, interested in uh, philosophy, but I was interested in contemporary art, uh, like uh, contemporary uh, theater, like uh, Shaina, Cantor, uh, or Grotowski, or Berdysha Kopauka, like uh, surrealistic art, like Magritte and uh, Gigi de Chirico, uh, Salvador Dali, or Zdzisław Beksiński, uh, his uh, paintings uh, were special for me because uh, I also tried art uh, at uh, first uh, class uh, of the film. And I uh, continued my uh, meditations uh, thinking meditations about uh, what is life, what is death, uh, why we uh, have to uh, work our life and we have nothing uh, out of this uh, hard work uh, for ourselves, uh, just uh, uh, some are robbed, uh, robbed of uh, their work and cheated by uh, employers uh, like that. And uh, I started to draw and paint uh, and uh, read uh, about art. And when I was 17 uh, in a secondary, in second class, uh, I met a book uh, by that Cesaro Suzuki. Uh, just by chance uh, in the library, a local library, small book. Uh, like this scene. And uh, I was on vacations uh, bicycling uh, on uh, roads uh, around uh, my uh, city and uh, was reading uh, that book and uh, later meditating during bicycling. So I was pedaling on bicycle and thinking about uh, what I was reading in that book uh, of that Taro Suzuki's introduction to Zen Buddhism. So this was uh, just a time when I was fit uh, and uh, sportman. So uh, I had energy to, uh, to be able to exert energy on meditation, uh, deep uh, thinking and uh, uh, at the same time exercising uh, physically. So uh, it took me one month uh, to read that book uh, seven times or eight times in a row. And when I returned to school, uh, school year in uh, uh, September, uh, I also Notice that my marks at school went down, seriously down. I didn't um, do homeworks at all. School was uh, put off uh, from my interest and uh, I only was reading uh, about art and uh, about uh, Buddhism. Uh, I got some other books uh, like uh, Upanishads, uh, very good translations uh, of Upanishads uh, from uh, Sanskrit into Polish. And what hit me in uh, Upanishads uh, was uh, Chandogya Upanishad, uh, which was about the Brahman that uh, all this is, uh, in fact, Brahman. Uh, and uh, pacified by spirit, let that lets him uh, worship him uh, as uh, that which he... 
appeared from, uh, which he lay seen, and which, uh, in which uh, he will uh, disperse uh, at the time of death. And further and further, uh, St. Dogia goes on. So, um, Upanishads uh, were very good uh, lecture for me uh, to uh, accompany uh, the Buddhist uh, books. Uh, I remember um, I was reading uh, Kalorin Poche book uh, about the um, Mahamudra and was reading uh, Three Fillers of Zen, uh, first part of uh, <coughs> of that book. And I was still meditating and thinking a lot about uh, what I was uh, reading. Uh, my parents uh, contributed a lot uh, to my uh, meditation interest because uh, uh, my father was uh, rather gloomy uh, one, uh, quiet one, uh, but uh, gloomy bully. Uh, something like that. Uh, mother was uh, more active, uh, very active, uh, rather, um, was yapping uh, all the time, like a chihuahua, yapping at me non-stop almost. Uh, so I had good conditions to meditation and contemplation meditation uh, with yapping uh, mother uh, and uh, gloomy uh, father, like that. No, he was not a drunkard, he didn't drink. He was gloomy without uh, vodka. And uh, it wasn't a pleasant experience, my childhood at home. So I wanted to uh, flow away uh, fly away uh, from this nest of uh, wasps, but uh, I had nowhere to go. So um, my only quest was uh, meditation on Suzuki, uh, Kalu Rinpoche and uh, Upanishads and uh, Yasutani Roshi uh, teachings in uh, Three Fillers of Zen. See, Philas of Zen was a good book because uh, there was uh, uh, outlines of uh, Zen practice. Uh, in Suzuki's book, uh, there uh, he um, depicted uh, many examples of uh, enlightenment of uh, Chinese Zen masters and encounters uh, with monks and laymans. Uh, which uh, led to enlightenment uh, experience. And for example, I remember such a, such a story uh, that uh, for one master came uh, the monk and uh, uh, was uh, questioning him, uh, tell me uh, what is uh, the mystery? What well, is uh, this enlightenment uh, of yours? Uh, why I am not enlightened and uh, not pacified and you are enlightened and pacified? And the master said, uh, wait, uh, wait. Uh, too many people around. Uh, wait until uh, nobody will be around. Uh, then come to me and uh, ask me the question again and I will answer you. So the monk was waiting till uh, the evening when uh, people uh, dispersed uh, to the uh, places of rest and uh, he spotted a master sitting alone. Uh, so he approached him again and uh, asked him uh, again the same questions. What is enlightenment, master? Tell me. 
So uh, the guy, uh, the old guy, old man, uh, uh, told him, come with me, uh, I tell you. And he took, took him to the garden uh, behind uh, the monastery um, building. And he pointed uh, finger and said, look, uh, these bamboos, see them? Yeah, I see them. They are thick, eh? Yeah. And those bamboos uh, growing there, you see them? Yeah, I see them. They are thin. Yeah. So these bamboos is growing here, are thick. And those bamboos is growing there, are thin. And that was his answer. And uh, the monk was dumbfounded and uh, couldn't say anything, and he went away uh, disappointed uh, like that. So there were many examples uh, of uh, masters, like uh, when uh, one uh, master called Umon was uh, living himself uh, in an uh, outhouse. And he left, was leaving, coming out of the outhouse, and monk asked him a uh, question, what is Buddha master, uh, uh, what, is, what he can be? Uh, and uh, he said, there is shit on the stick. And that's all, that's all he said to him, that's all he uh, answered him. There is shit on the stick is Buddha like a uh, fan uh, working uh, perfectly is Buddha, like that. So later, uh, when uh, I just uh, uh, got uh, some breakthrough in uh, my meditations, uh, when I was 18 years old in a uh, third uh, class of uh, Liceo, uh, I got uh, very low marks uh, in school, so they uh, put me down, uh, uh, the professors put me down, and uh, I had to repeat one year of education, uh, the class. But that uh, didn't uh, bother me uh, much, uh, Although something was unbearable, my mental anguish was unbearable, it was hell. Uh, I was living in, uh, but uh, the question of uh, what is life, what is death, never left me. And when I went uh, to breakthrough, uh, eating lunch and uh, watching uh, the window, uh, I noticed uh, in the flower box, one flower uh, was, uh, blue flower was uh, moving by wind. Uh, wind was rough at the time, and blue flower was uh, uh, buttered uh, by, by the wind, uh, moved uh, f f to and fro, back and fro, uh, like that. And uh, I remember um, was watching that flower and uh, there was music, the mood is on, was on, music of catharsis by Czesław Niemen. And uh, suddenly I exploded uh, emotionally uh, to the flower and I was saying, oh, this flower is not angry. Uh, with the wind which uh, tormenting him. And uh, it was uh, a strange experience because I was crying like a baby uh, for about uh, half an hour or 40 minutes. And uh, I remember um, it was uh, a state of happiness and sorrow uh, mixed together. I was very happy and very sad at the same time. And after uh, I finished uh, that crying, 
uh, it was uh, obvious for me that I see the world uh, as it is. Uh, the flower is broad, the clouds are drifting, the wind is blowing. And I had uh, a glass of uh, tea and I put some uh, sugar into tea and I mixed sugar with tea and I said to myself, oh, it's very easy like this. And I mixed uh, the tea and I drank the tea. It was my uh, experience of breakthrough. Uh, the um, Chan, uh, Chan uh, meditation uh, <clears throat> on the Chan masters' uh, experiences of this day, on enlightenment uh, experiences, and uh, things like uh, a lonely cypress in the garden, three pounds of flax, dress it on the stick. Uh, these bamboos is thick, those bamboos is thin, uh, that uh, flower is uh, peach flower, and this flower is uh, uh, apple flower, uh, bamboos is in the east, uh, pine trees in the north. All this was clear like uh, day uh, for me uh, ever since, and I lost uh, completely my intellectual uh, understanding uh, and I never uh, was uh, thinking so much uh, uh, about uh, life and death uh, uh, since that time. I discovered that this life, uh, this uh, world is uh, like uh, paradise. Uh, because uh, I saw that uh, world uh, as if through glasses, uh, which were uh, different than before. Before uh, that event, I was uh, wearing different glasses, different view. And after that event, I was uh, wearing new glasses. It was uh, perfect, uh, a perfect view. And uh, I saw uh, first time in the world as it is. The blue sky was blue, clouds were, were white. There were birds flying uh, on the sky. Uh, black birds and white birds suddenly appeared in the sky. Simultaneously, about 50 birds flying uh, around. It was autumn, uh, late October. And uh, those birds were flying, I think, uh, seagulls and uh, <coughs> and uh, crooks, like that. Ravens. And later, uh, when I moved to Canada, I uh, deeper uh, deepened my meditations. I started sitting meditation. Uh, just uh, uh, my sitting meditation was resting in my true nature and uh, being uh, present in uh, presence, present time here and now. That was all my meditation for 36 years uh, in uh, Canada, in uh, many apartments, uh, in uh, four apartments or six apartments. We were changing uh, our place of living. It was like this. So meditation is uh, very important, but uh, it cannot be learned at, its, at school. Uh, prayer uh, cannot be learned by force. Uh, on uh, lessons of religion uh, by by church uh, in the church uh, like or in the temple or in the zendo <clears throat> or something like that it must come uh, from within uh, you the quest the questioning must uh, be born in your heart uh, then uh, you can uh, start your meditation if you are just uh, uh, teaching meditation like a school subject, 
uh, to learn something uh, uh, because you are curious. Uh, uh, Tchaikovsky, uh, you won't succeed. But if you are deep in heart feeling, uh, uh, especially fear of dying, then your meditation will be successful. And you have uh, great chances uh, of succeeding in uh, attaining enlightenment. Like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>